How's it going? My name is Tony Coxum. I'm the bar manager at the Grass Skirt in Pacific Beach, San Diego. And today we will be making the Grass Skirt Painkiller for your cocktail kit at home. It's a very simple cocktail. It's actually a classic tiki cocktail from the Caribbean using a variety of juices, uh, coconut, and rum. Traditionally, Puster's rum, but the Grass Skirt we do it a little differently. We use a seven rum blend. So let's get started. First thing we're going to start with is uh, fresh lime juice. Uh, we juice everything in house at the grass skirt, so this will be definitely something that'll add effect to your cocktail. Definitely gives it a little more brighter flavor. Um, not as sweet as maybe most painkillers that you have. It's going to be um, three fourths of an ounce of lime juice. Next ingredient we're going to go to is pineapple juice. Um, it's going to be two ounces of pineapple juice. Once again, this is uh, we press this ourselves at the grass skirt to give it just a little more character, a little more flavor, and just kind of adds that special touch. It's going to be two ounces of pineapple juice. Third up, and our lovely cocktail here. It's kind of a variation from the traditional um, painkiller. Is we use passion fruit. Um, it's a blend of patch fruit juice, a little bit of orange juice, and some Saint Germain to really set it off. Really adds depth to the cocktail, um, really gives a really cool flavor, and also doesn't make it as traditional as you've had maybe at, say, the Soggy Dollar in the Caribbean. Sorry, that's going to be one ounce of passion fruit. We're almost there. Uh, we're going to do coconut. So we blend the coconut here in house. Um, it's really good. We don't like ours too, too sweet, but like I have like a nice, like kind of almost burnt flavor. Um, this will be coming in your kit as well, so you don't have to worry about making any of this stuff. It'll be ready for you. And it's gonna be one ounce of coconut syrup. All right. Well, hope you're ready for the big dog. This is our seven rum blend. Uh, I could tell you what's in it, but then I'd have to kill you. Just kidding. This is what's going to give you, obviously, the boozy flavor. We use a variety of rums to kind of give it a really interesting balance. Um, some from Trinidad, um, some, some from uh, Central America, uh, dark rums, light rums, a little bit of coconut rum, just to really kind of round everything out, give it a lot of flavor, and add a little heat. It's uh, two and a half ounces of that. Next, we have to dilute this thing and get it ready for consumption. So we're going to take a little bit of pebble ice. If you, have, you don't have any at home, you can use rock ice. That's fine. Put it in there. Big tin. The fun part. Shake it up. Shake party. Do that. Get the excess out. Always make sure you put your small tin on top of your big tin. Just get the reg excess out. You can typically lose like a half ounce to three quarters of an ounce of uh, your cocktail in there. We're using our, our funny tiki face uh, glass. Fill her up. Put that away. And we're gonna top with ice. A nice little top there. Now we're gonna make this a little fun for you guys. Um, there's different variations of painkillers, one, two, and three, basically it's based on strength. We're gonna do number two today. So we're gonna add a ounce of 151. We use uh, Hamilton's Demerara 151. Good stuff. And I'm just gonna pour that right on top. Now it's time to make it fun, right? It wouldn't be a tiki cocktail if it didn't have some cool garnish going on. So that's the next step. We're gonna start with our lovely bendy straw. Give it a nice little whatever you'd like to do. You can design it in any way you'd like. Some pineapple leaves. And typically when you're adding garnishes like this, I like to light layer them. So I start from the back and work my way forward. So I'm gonna do the pineapple leaf there. I got a little half of a lemon. And our grass skirt swizzle sticks will be also in your kit. The fruit won't, but uh, we'll definitely give you guys some cool swizzle sticks and some straws. Put that right in there. A little skull and crossbones. And it wouldn't be a painkiller if it wasn't topped with a little nutmeg. So we'll just do a little nutmeg on top. Give this for some a little aroma. A 
and that is a grass skirt pain killer.